Two political heavyweights just dropped a question nobody in Ottawa wants to touch. If Canada invented world-class nuclear tech, then why are we about to hand billions to American companies instead? Here's what's going on. Former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien and former Ontario Premier Mike Harris are teaming up to push Canada back to can-do reactors, our own homegrown nuclear technology. Their message is simple. If we don't support our own tech now, we're about to lose tens of thousands of jobs to the US. And they're right. Can-do reactors were invented here built here and they've been powering Canada for over 60 years. Their superpower, they run on natural uranium, mined in Saskatchewan and Ontario. No enrichment, no foreign dependency, no international supply chain, BS. Meanwhile, American reactor designs require enriched uranium, which must be processed abroad and shipped in. In a world full of tariffs, trade wars, and election year chaos, that's massive vulnerability. And here's the real kicker. If Canada picks American technology for Ontario's next nuclear builds, we're basically wiring tens of thousands of Canadian jobs straight into the US economy. Christian and Harris point directly at Ontario's auto industry as the cautionary tale. When you depend on foreign tech, you lose control and you lose jobs. But with CanDo, over 90% of the supply chain is domestic. Steel, construction, manufacturing, skilled trades, the jobs stay in Canada. For over six decades, CanDo technology has powered our homes, created medical isotopes used worldwide, and made Canada a respected global nuclear leader. We invented this. We perfected this. We should be doubling down on it. Because this isn't about energy generation. It's about energy independence economic sovereignty, and whether Canada actually believe in its own innovation. How can we convince the world to buy Canadian nuclear tech if we don't even use it ourselves? This choice is a fork in the road. Back our own can-do reactors and create hundreds of thousands of jobs or outsource our future to the Americans again. So what do you think? Should Canada prioritize domestic can-do tech to protect our jobs and energy security or chase potentially cheaper foreign alternatives? Comment exclusive for more updates and insights and share this with anyone who cares about Canada's energy future.